Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to create, attach and mount a disk to Linux VM in Microsoft Azure. Virtual Machine help you not only run several of your applications but also provides you the liberty to allocate the storage of your choice to store your data online securely. Although VM provides its own storage, many times you find a need for extra storage as existing storage run out of space. That is where adding an additional disk come into the picture. Fortunately, Microsoft has made it easy for us by introducing some simple feature to attach the disk. Throughout this blog, I will be elaborating on the process of attaching an additional disk to your VM. Today we are going to see how to attach data disk to Linux VM. So before you have attached it to your disk in VM, so follow the steps. First, the disk size of the virtual machines control how many data disk you can attach. The next one, disk attached to the virtual machine are actually VHD file stored in Azure. Finally, after attaching the disk, you need to connect the Linux VM to mount the new disk. This is my Azure account homepage. Next, go to the virtual machine. I have already created for the new Linux machine primary server and secondary server. Now I'm going to the secondary server and start the secondary server machine. After starting the virtual machine, just copy the public IP address and go to the command prompt and log into the my virtual machine. Enter the password. I have successfully logged in for the my Linux virtual machine. First, I will check the OS version. I am user Ubuntu server. Next, now I am going to check the disk details. How many disks are available in my system? So, use the following commands. SDA and SDB. Now, I am going to make a new hard disk for the this system. Then next I am going to the Azure portal. Now I am going to make a new attached data disk. So first I will go to the disk. To click the create and attach a new disk. Enter the disk name. Enter the storage type. Premium SSD or HDD. I am selected in premium SSD. Next, go to select the size for the 4GP. The basic you have need for the 4GP. Maximum you have enter for the number of GPs to be added. Next, maximum input and output ports, throughput and encryption and host caching. Now, I am change the my attached disk size 4GP to 8GP. Then save. The secondary server machine disk can be attached successfully. Next, now I am going to check the command prompt and to be verify the attached disk by using following commands. I have created disk to be added for the name for SDC. Next, now I am going to change the root user. Now I am going to open the FDIS to create a partitions of dev slash sdc. Now I am create a new partition to so enter the n. Now I make the primary partition to enter p. Enter the partition number has been default. Next enter the first sector has been default. Next, enter the last sector has been default. The AGP created a new partition has been successfully. Next, now I am going to view the created partition. To enter the P, to be create the partitions to be viewed. The AGP Linux partition has been created. Next, save the all changes made to the disk. So, now I have entered for the W. 
the partition table has been alerted successfully. Now I am going to again check the LSBLK. SDC partition has been created. Next now I am going to format the SDC file using mkfs command that ext4 file slash dev slash sdc1 formatting has been completed successfully next now I'm going to mount the disk create the directive to mount the file system using mkdir command Next, now I'm going to mount the file system by using following commands. The file system has been mounted. Next, I'm going to list the mounted device to see the changes in memory using df-h command. The STC1 has been mounted successfully after mounted the file system to ensure that the drive is remounted automatically after a reboot. It must be added to the slash etc slash fs tab file. It is also highly recommended that the UID is used to slash etc and fs tab to refer to the driver rather than just, just the device name. So next I will run the blkid command. Show for the multiple UID number. So copy the SDC UID number. Next, now I am going to open the slash etc slash fs tab file to text editor. and paste the slash sdc file uid number now i'm going to edit the uid number to delete the type enter the slash data Enter the defaults zero zero. After editing the FST file system, then save and exit. Next, now I am going to mount the all file system slash etc and FST file system using mount iPhone A command. Now I am again use the lsblk command to see the disk and add the mount points. You can see that sdc is now mounted at the slash data. Next now we move to the azure portal and select the virtual machine. After completing the work now I am going to stop the virtual machine. This is the steps to have followed to the how to attach both new and add existing disk to a Linux virtual machine through the Azure portal has been completed. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.